another video i hope you're doing really well today i thought i could film a what i eat in a day video it's been a little while since my last one and since i did a recent video talking about how i've changed my body composition how i've managed to gain muscle and lose fat i thought i could share what changes i've actually made when it comes to my nutrition a little bit in this video and things that i've been having less of and what i've been having more of so i could go through my supplements and whatnot as well later on i'm gonna get myself to the gym i still feel a little bit half asleep to be honest. I've just got my greens here. I'm just going to do a little bit of journaling and a short meditation. I've been trying to make more of an effort just to keep consistent with this because sometimes in the morning it's the last thing you want to do but I can't tell you how much it just brings you back into yourself especially if you've got a lot on and you're managing a lot with work, with life, with things coming up. This is just like a really good coping mechanism basically for how I manage my days. The pond water is still going really strong. Still having this pretty much every single day. <laughs> gym and I'm just about to make my glowing green smoothie which has been on repeat. I have this most mornings either before I train or afterwards. This morning because I was going early I just thought I'd save it till afterwards. It is the most delicious healthy smoothie. The reason why it's got its name glow smoothie is because it's packed with more veggies than an entire salad. It's amazing for your skin health, your hair health, your gut health. It's hydrating. It's just everything that you could want in a smoothie. It's high protein. It's about 25 grams and it's just all packed into one thing and it tastes really sweet. It doesn't taste like a pond water kind of like green green concoction and you can also swap out any ingredients like say if you don't have something that I'm using you can just put in a different type of fruit different type of veggie so I'll show you what you're going to need for this we just whiz it all up very easy to make okay grabbed everything out for our green smoothie this recipe is actually from that uh, living lift where I've got a lot more of my recipes and workout programs so taking a I'm going to say a clove a stick of celery so that's 40 grams half a banana then half a green apple, about a quarter of a big cucumber. I absolutely love cucumber in this movie actually. You can't really taste it, but I think it just makes it a bit more like watery. And then a little cloak, I keep calling things cloaks, a little chunk of fresh ginger. That in there, and then a handful of spinach. This is actually frozen spinach, and I used a frozen banana. I find that just helps it go more of like a smoothie consistency. And then juice of half a lemon, and then I've got some sunflower seeds. These are packed with healthy fats and omega three. They're actually mixed seeds. And then our ice cubes. We're gonna have to cram this in. I love this NutriBullet, but I wish it fit more in. I sometimes have to do it in stages, shall we say? And then a scoop of of protein powder. I use bulk and this is a pure wet isolating chocolate flavour. I've run out of my vanilla one. I've been taking a full scoop. 
cube, which is 30 grams of that. I will leave my discount code because I get 45% off, which is my code Olivia. I will link that down below. And then I'm just using regular milk. You could also use plant milk or whatever you use at home. I've said this quite a few times, but the reason why I use just, I've gone back to skimmed milk or semi-skimmed milk is just because I kept picking up oat milk and then I just look at the ingredients and it was just like 20% oats and the rest was just sunflower oil and emulsifiers. And I feel like I get on quite well, like that works for me quite nicely. Right, I'm just gonna grab the lid. glow smoothie i love these with glasses at the moment this is actually my last one left i seem to keep smashing them every time i put them in the dishwasher but you get about two glasses i feel like this is a small glass isn't it to be honest though but it's just the perfect consistency and packed with so much goodness I'm sure this is why I've had a lot of hair growth. Like my eyelashes are probably the longest they've been in ages and I, I'm putting it down to this smoothie, okay? I've said it. I can't take myself seriously right now. I'm basically hobbling around the house. I've got a bit of an ankle injury. I think I wore a pair of trainers that just didn't support my feet properly. I think I put them in the wash and I put them on a 60 degree and I feel like I've misshaped the trainer. So I'm never gonna run in those again because my left ankle is so sore and it hurts to put weight on it. But I feel like I just need to get some rest and it should be fine. So I'm just gonna make some brunch, which I'm thinking I'm gonna make these air fryer egg bites. They're kind of like, a little omelette in a little mini ramekin. They're quite nice if you fancy in a little switch up if you've been having, say, poached egg or scrambled egg. I'll show you how I make these. So I'm gonna make two ramekins. So what we're gonna need is four eggs. So I've just got some feta cheese that I'm just gonna cut up. You could use any cheese you've got in. Chop some spinach up, some red pepper. And then we have got 20, about 20 grams of cheese. And then I'm just taking this cottage cheese. This is just like a low fat onion and chive one. This one always goes out of stock. 65 grams of cottage cheese, a little dash of milk, and then some pink Himalayan salt, a little bit of garlic granules, and some pepper. And then we're just gonna whisk this all together. A little drop of olive oil just in the bottom of each. Oh, that's a bit hot. Mm -mm -mm. Like that. And then I'm just going to put these into the air fryer. You could do one at the top, one at the top, one at the top if you haven't got this dual air fryer situation going on. If you don't have an air fryer, you could also just pop these in the oven on 180 degrees. These are ready to take out. Oh, wait till you see these. They're like big rough things. Oh my god. No, no. Look at these little cuties. Just put some chicken sausages in the air fryer and also a bagel. And I'm just gonna take some avocado out. Brunch. So I've got three chicken sausages here for extra protein, avocado for healthy fats, a bagel and then the egg omelette and some tomato ketchup. I ran out of tomato ketchup last week and I can't explain to you how my meals were just, they weren't quite hitting the same. I think I would have ketchup with everything if I could. I can't remember if I mentioned or not, but in the air fryer for the omelette, it's 200 degrees for 15 minutes. Try not to go over because I feel like that's what dries it out. Whereas this is like still really nice and fluffy in the middle. Mm -hmm. I 
thought I could just chat to you about some of the main changes when it comes to my nutrition that I feel like have made the biggest impact. And these are things that I've noticed quite quickly. The first one being just stripping back my nutrition. I felt like I just got a little bit, I don't wanna say spiraled off, but I just, I got busy basically. And then I'd let things slip in terms of, I was having more processed foods. So like I was having more protein bars. I'd have a shake in the morning, probably a shake later in the evening if I felt like I hadn't hit my protein take. And just having a lot more processed things for the sake of ease and not making as many home cooked meals. And then wondering why I was just feeling crap in myself and feeling swollen and inflamed and even things like I don't feel like I was getting enough veggies in at certain times which is totally normal like this does happen and the most important thing is not to sort of beat yourself up when you have had phases like that like we all go through slumps like that but it is important to have that sort of realization and just like right I need to sort of sort this out one thing I've really felt much better from not having is not having as many fizzy like artificial drinks for me it was coke zeros that i would have every single day at least one a day for a long time and i haven't had a coke zero other than on a night out like i had it as a mixer a few months back but i haven't had one properly at home or anything like that in maybe six months now something like that and things like protein puddings that i was buying from the supermarket i had a look at the ingredients one day and i was just like this is just full of crap I'd googled some of the ingredients, the chemicals basically, and I just thought, how is it gonna use that for energy compared to eating something like a whole food that's got less artificial, it's just more natural. So I just had this big realization and then I just took things right back. And I don't wanna say by any means like I've cut out absolutely every sweetener. I have mentioned this in a recent video that I'd really recommend you watching, which is how I've managed to transform my body, my energy levels and change my body composition. I would really recommend watching that one because it's a bit more in depth, but that has made such a big significant significant difference I'm not half as bloated what I think was happening was I'd eat one meal and then like have a coke zero or whatever and my stomach would just swell out here whereas like today I've had how many meals I've had flooding loads of water and I don't get that severe sort of bloat by any means the next thing has been having more accountability it's super easy to lose track of things that are to do with self-care so like making sure you're getting enough sleep or having a little mini routine before you go to bed so mine has been wearing my whoop again which it gives you like a sleep schedule in a sense you can set yourself like a bedtime and it will give me a little notification now it might sound sound <laughs> might sound excessive but that little nudge has helped so much with my sleep routine and i can see what quality sleep i'm getting okay just gonna make a little snack Mm. These are the Halo Lightly Salted Coral Cakes. They're my favorite ever. Some bulk peanut butter. These are the best because they're flipping huge. Dark chocolate and then a little bit of walnut on top. That just adds a little bit of crunch. So for dinner, I'm making sea bass and potatoes with asparagus. I've seasoned it with some garlic, onion. Oh, it's just so nice. I think sea bass is one of my favorite sort of white fishes and it's really warm this week. So I feel like it's a nice little summer, makes you feel like you're on holiday kind of vibe. And I love this because you can just put it all in the air fryer, like including the asparagus and go about your evening, whatever you're doing. I keep forgetting about my ankle. So, da na na na, da na na. Da -na. So here's my dinner. I've got a whole sea bass fillet, some onion, tomatoes, asparagus, and then white potatoes. I'm just about to put some tomato ketchup with this as well. Oh, the best. Mediterranean vibes.
Mm -mm. These chips as well remind me of like fish and chip shop chips. This is 10 out of 10. I just had a really exciting delivery that's taken within ages, like actual weeks, to arrive. Oh my god, are you ready? You can kind of guess what this is, can't you, actually, at this point? Big reveal. <laughs> Was aggressive. So we have a lovely Linnish merch. This is one of my samples. I've ordered so many, it's actually ridiculous. But really cool to see this in person. It's got a really nice spongy bottom bit and it's nice and padded so it's not going to hurt your knees. It's a good start. I've got a few more actually that will hopefully arrive in either this week or next. But I'm quite happy with the quality of this. So here's the yogurt bowl. I have every single night i use natural yogurt i've actually i've been preferring natural yogurt over greek yogurt recently pure way i'm using the chocolate flavor you don't really need too much in yogurt or i think it's a bit strong organic maca powder that aids with hormone balancing it's quite strong and a bit of like a nutty taste berry puree so you just microwave some mixed berries and then mash them around the seeds, just something as a topping. A little bit of peanut butter. Packed with protein, super tasty. And if you've got quite a sweet tooth like me, you will really like this. Could also have this as like a mid-afternoon snack. I thought I could show you my vitamin stack. I'm just about to go to bed. So I get all my supplements from bulk and I take two ZMA, which is zinc magnesium before bed. This helps so much with always 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 notice to have a much better sleep really helpful for hormone balancing as well so many health benefits other than that i need to get some water super strength omega-3 i take two and then lion's mane capsules these are 500 milligram per capsule this is actually my first few weeks trying them i've nearly finished them but i just got the little mini one just to see if i noticed any difference but this is supposed to help like with your brain health what else are the benefits, mate, of lion's mane? There's neurogenesis, Alzheimer's, reduced likelihood of a... Uh, oh, Memory there's, new, stu there's new studies going on all the time. And then digestive enzymes. These definitely really help with digestion. That brings us up to the end of today's video. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope you got some new inspo. If you could do me one huge favour, which would be to like this video. It helps and supports my channel more than you know and is so appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.